Here with a couple tasty soup options is Chef Adrian Perez with Complete Eats. Happy Dude, New Year. You too, right back at you. Thank you. So today, we're going to start with a soup that really was meant to, meant to sort of fatten people up over the winter months, right? I came up with this one during that wonderful <laughs> freeze we had. So we spared no calorie, but we also spared no flavor. So it's a bomb soup recipe. Love this one. Okay, perfect. And later in the show, we'll get into a healthier option. But for Absolutely. now, tell us what we're making. It's something like a tomatoey bison brie. Right, so we've got a bison brie and tomato soup. So full flavor with the beef. A brie is in the wine. cheese. Brie is in the cheese. Okay. So, you know, normally soups can be creamy. We're going to add a little cheese to the end on this one to make it nice and rich. Awesome. Where right, do we so start? We're starting off by going to marinate our white beans. So I've got some great northern white beans, store-bought, canned, or totally cool, a little bit of garlic, and I found this wild horse cab somewhere in my stash at home. So we'll do a little bit of that right in there. Okay. And let them soak. You guys can do this for a couple of hours, a few minutes before. Of course, the longer the better. And do you prefer Cabernet, or could it be any kind of it red wine? It can be any red wine you want. So a lot of people ask, what's the difference between a cooking wine and a wine? There is none. You always want to cook with a wine that you'd also like to drink. So if this this is a little too full body for you guys. Pinot Noir is a great middleman for anyone who doesn't like anything too heavy. Okay, and not to dwell on the beans, but for people who like to use dry beans, does that work as well? I can see the look on your face. <laughs> you could take the extra step, but let's be realistic. You want to keep this under 30 minutes, Well, because right? dry beans have to soak overnight. It takes a right. lot longer. You okay. can do that totally. And you have leftover beans in the fridge or anything else in the pantry, throw it in this recipe. And of course, naturally, you got to have a little bit of the wine for the frijoles and a little bit of wine for the hosts, right? Oh. So dig, and we have to do this the right way. So cheers. cheers, so swirl. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What resolutions? So, none right now. Sniff. Oh, I didn't sniff. And you have to do this, watch. Get the air going in it. It opens up the flavors. Is, we'll okay. do it after you drink it. Do you do this at a dinner party? Absolutely. It's completely rude. Put it up, I do folks. It. <laughs> so let those soak for a couple of minutes. There you go. Whoa. Excuse me. Okay, I, I need to work on I think we're going to bring you the Pinot Noir for the next show. Okay, so we're soaking the white soaking beans, the white beans in the red for a couple wine. Of hours. You got the brie, the tomatoes, and some herbs. Right. So we're going to start off with our base for our soup, guys. This is our mirepoix. What is a mirepoix? You ask. Fifty percent onions, twenty-five percent carrots, twenty-five percent celery. Always the measurements for good mirepoix. I cook these down in a little bit of olive oil. Important tips on picking a good oil: extra virgin, cold pressed, dark bottle. Olives should come from one region, tree to the bottle in 24 hours or less. You can probably look it up online to see how they process theirs. And the so, dark bottle is key because we don't want too much daylight getting into it, Exactly. Right? See, you learned. You listened from last time. Of Great. Course. So saute these up until they're nice and golden. We'll add in the tomatoes. And these are just uh, canned tomatoes, stewed canned tomatoes, these right? These can be plum. You can use on the vine tomatoes, which they say are better and fresher. Add a little bit of the wine. Okay. Now, you guys are going to let this simmer and reduce down to that wine is about half the amount that it was. That's going to build up all that good flavor. Now, I notice you're not measuring the wine. What You're just dumping in until it does what? So if you want a fuller flavored soup, you do a little more wine. If you want something a little lighter, just the splash is totally cool. It'll just give a little bit of edge. In goes the fresh basil. Okay. I've got some fresh thyme in here. Any herbs will work really, guys, if you want. They're just going to give it a lot of depth. Rosemary right off the sprig. Mm. And we'll let all that cook down. Salt and pepper as well. All right. Now, once that's all good and simmered, you guys are going to transfer all of this soup into the blender, and you're going to let it roll till it's nice and creamy and smooth. So you could use a blender, a food processor, anything that's going to pulverize Definitely. it. Definitely. And if you want to keep it chunky, that's totally fine. I just like a smoother base. And as it's in the blender, you guys will slowly add the chicken stock to it just to give it that good volume. And I always keep homemade chicken stock at home. You can make it with all your leftover, you know, onion butts, carrot butts, whatever. Beans, you guys can't forget about the beans. So we're going to saute the beans in a little bit of olive oil till they're nice and golden. Oh, got it. So you haven't added the beans to the existing no. mixture. Those are still in there. We're going to finish off with it. Our bison is pre cooked. I've got a pound of lean ground bison. You know, it's got lower calories, but all the full flavor. Look how the skin has been pulled back on those beans. Just get that nice golden caramelization. And over here, the beautiful end product. Ah. Top it off with a few beans, a little bit of fresh basil. I've got some toasted here. bread and a sliced brie, guys. Dive in. See what you think about so that. You slice up the brie and just put it right in there. Right. And if your soup's piping hot, it's just going to melt into that soup and give it that good flavor. Or tear a piece off with each mm. bite. Isn't that nice? So imagine it's That's 20 so nice. degrees again, and that would be lovely for that. Yeah, and that's look, awesome. check this out. Book us for a party. We can ser uh, serve this shooter style for a quick, simple bite. All that flavor in one simple bite. Beautiful and lovely and gorgeous. You know what I love on, on a warm uh, winter day, 70 degree day in Houston? Just getting that little uh, crusted bread there mm -hmm. with your soup. Absolutely. Absolutely delicious. So, Chef Adrian, you're going to be back later in the show to show us that healthier recipe, the vegetarian. So, stick right. around for that. And, folks,